All right, so in this video we're checking out the G-Lang Anger 85X 1080p HD edition. So this is another uh, little micro cine whip here with a Caddx uh, Baby Turtle Whip Edition uh, on this particular model. I did a video on the 4K version of this. This is the Anger 85X 4K with the uh, Caddx Loris 4K camera. This was in a previous video. I'll link that down in the description if you want to check out this one if you would prefer a 4K version over a 1080p version. Uh, different setup here. This is a 4 setup. So check out that video if you're interested in that one. So this one here uh, is set up for 3S. It's a little bit lighter than the other one. The motors that come in here are um, the 1202-6900KV and does include a 3S450 battery in the package. Uh, also flew it on this uh, URUAV Graphene 3S 550mAh battery. So they work pretty good on both and you get a little bit more flight time on the 550 of course. So in addition to the 1202 motors you have the Gemfan 3-bladed propellers. The flight controller here is an all-in-one flight controller. This is I think their 20 amp uh, all-in-one flight controller, so it's basically a 4-in-1 ESC and a flight controller all-in-one, and it's a whoop style board. Get your Caddx Baby Turtle whoop board here on the top, and you can see that uh, they have this mounted here with some soft mounts, the whole canopy, and that does help with vibration and jello. You get a power central video transmitter here, I believe that goes to 200 milliwatts. It's also built into the canopy, it's screwed into the canopy here. And I think that this is the major design difference between uh, the 4K version and the 1080p version is the canopy where the camera is is not soft mounted, so you do get a little bit of jello even though you have this ND filter on here. So they did switch this up in the new design here. You can see that the canopy is now totally soft mounted. I think in all yeah, basically all four spots and they, they're just using the, this idea here of um, using a flat piece of TPU and folding it over that provides basically some vibration absorption but keep in mind that this does uh, kind of twist sometimes so it can move like this if you crash so you just have to make sure that it's lined up straight because they can rotate a little bit but this is the difference in this one so using the whoop boards and everything like that just does keep this pretty light. Alright, so the weight here without the battery coming in at about 59 grams and then with the included 453S it's coming in at about just over 100 grams and then with the URUAV 553S it's coming in at 107.4. So just like well, the other uh, G-Lang drones you do get a nice case here that's included. Uh, get a cleaning cloth, you get the camera uh, controller board so you can change the settings, extra rubber bands for the bottom, extra set of propellers. Uh, you do get these um, foam pieces here that you can put on the ducts. So if you are flying this indoors, don't want this to scratch up your walls, you can put those foam, foam pieces on the side of the ducts here and that provides a little bit of cushion. The uh, receiver is installed here on the bottom. I believe the uh, one in Banga does not come with the receiver. It's like plug and play only, but I think this is where uh, you should probably install your receiver. This one came with an XM Plus receiver, rubber band here on the bottom, and a piece of foam here to hold your battery. And the battery goes up and uh, forward and backwards. Uh, you do get a longer nosed USB cable for this connector because it's buried beneath this plate here. And that's also included. Um, if you lose that cable then you're going to have a hard time connecting to the USB port here and you'll take these four screws off and remove this plate to get access to the uh, micro USB port. Anyway, so overall I thought it flew pretty decently. I came with a Pitium out of the box from the factory. I didn't have to change any settings and um, the footage out of here, you know, is typical Caddx uh, baby turtle footage. Uh, nothing really unusual to report there. It's, uh, it looks like a firmware from about a few months back, I, I don't think it, there's anything new there. If you don't like the uh, sharpness or saturation, you can reduce that as a little bit on the higher side uh, out of the box. Uh, but otherwise, um, yeah, it 
it's pretty decent footage. Of course, it's just 1080p footage. It's not GoPro footage, so. Uh, but you can get something like this in about 100 grams is not bad uh, for, you know, smaller spaces, indoors, uh, things like that. Of course, if you want to get GoPro-like footage uh, on this size, you probably want to move up to something like the B85X uh, V2 for the naked GoPro. Uh, that's a whole different uh, ball, ball game there. Um, I have videos on that as well, and you can check out my channel for videos on the um, B85X and the B95X if you're looking to do some naked GoPro type of cinema whipping. Anyway, here's the uh, flight footage for this. Let me know if you have any questions, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Thank you.